Thanks for saving me. Previously on Uncharted yeah. 4. <laughs> I almost didn't this time. Yeah, because we really need this, like, emotional twist of the knife. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I yeah. hate you. I'm sorry to say this episode might b just be one long 40-minute video of a knife constantly being twisted. Great. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon, home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Wraith is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Do you, though? Do you need to save Sam? I know you would mm. like to save Sam, but let's consider the definition of the word need. Look, <laughs> up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Nate, boost me up this ladder. It's too bad she didn't also come with some sort of traversal yeah. thing. Here. Yeah. They get, Nate gets the rope. She gets <sighs> like, I don't know, du <clears throat> double jump boots. Grapple hook. <laughs> it's like a winch and a rope put together. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can't do that with Sam. It's because he's always wearing cleats. It would be a death sentence. Pick some flowers for your wife. She deserves it. I'm sorry. So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did. From the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. Splash her with the water. It's fun and playful. Wee. Come on. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with our marriage. Relationships take work, Nathan. Okay, we're gonna go back for flowers. Or better yet, how about we give her this? Yeah, you know what women love? That thing. <laughs> Really narrow necked pottery that you can't do much with. I guess you can hold your oils. I mean, do you have it, any oils? I mean, if he did pick a flower, it looks like it's big enough for a single flower to fit. <laughs> so, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million, 12 founders, hundreds of colonists. Something like that? Yeah, that just about covers it. Had some time to kill on the flight over. I'm actually more knowledgeable on this than you now, Nate. <laughs> they only chatted because uh, Sully finished all the Sudoku. Well, yeah, he had to when he was waiting in that plane back in Scotland. Mm -hmm. It's continuity right there, motherfuckers. Damn. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. <laughs> he must have used it to move supplies upriver. Yeah, that's a fair bet. Pirate elevators. Mm-hmm. Still didn't have enough eye patches, though. Well, they're not magic or anything. <laughs> it really didn't help that they, like, basically refused to wear eye patches unless they were made out of the finest materials. <laughs> There's your car. But Just it also didn't have there. any respect for whether they yeah, had a missing think? eye or right. not. Mm. Well, let's take a look. There's a lot of people intentionally uh, uh, handicapping themselves <sighs> mm -hmm. just for fashion. I would be surprised it was like one of their laws, like, you know, one of those commandments just propped up in the middle of the city. Once you get past the first couple dozen, they were really running out of good commandments. Yeah. They're there also just running out of space for them. They were just Great. like embedded in the walls of like stores. No shirt, no shoes, no service was uh, the 14th commandment. <laughs> hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh. Hey, I see a path up here. Can you tie my rope around anything? There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hmm, something my husband can use. Oh, yeah, I know, a divorce something. lawyer. Oh, no! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sully really caught her up on everything. Yeah, Thanks. she knows. I'm not even going to say she's a quick learner. She just, she just got the instinct. 
Mm -hmm. I wonder if, like, Nate and Elena, like, they're... After they started doing all their adventures where they needed boosts everywhere, I wonder if, like, every single environment in their normal day-to-day -day lives, all they can do is, like, say, like, I need a boost to get up there. You should see their collection of footstools back at home. Oh, man. They're so paranoid about boosting. <laughs> what? Whoa. Hey, nice jump. Not bad, right? See, there's a little bit of the old magic. Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. You jumped right into my heart, and I do mean that literally. Come on, I'll meet you around. <laughs> I'm okay! Sort of... Everything's under control! See if you can get back up here. Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Oh, that spike is so satisfying. Yeah. Speaking of that spike, though, uh, you'll see it later in this video, but uh, Nate's spiking arm can do some weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> Nate, can you find a way out of there? Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Yeah, well, and so Sully, but he can fly a plane. Who knows if it ever it. Oh, look, it works. Look, you only have to search on eBay for parts to replace for Sully, like, every five years now. He's not that high maintenance. Going up? I mean, there's parts of him that are, like, SGI workstations from the 90s. Next floor, menswear. The fact that this works is it's kind of incredible. Jinxed it. I've seen some Sully components at, like, Pep Boys. <laughs> you know, I'll just, uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Sully can only see in color in one eye right now because I really need to replace uh, some some of the filaments in his eye. Well, they just don't make him like they used to. Yeah, I believe it's right around here. Uh, Nate's spiking arm gets a little weird. Whoop! <laughs> it's real quick, but let's uh let's roll playback. Uh, take a look at the instant replay on the spiking arm. If you do some jumps into spiking arm areas before Nate can like anticipate it, his arm can get a little weird. I wanted to hear them talk about their snack time adventures. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice moves, hon. Nothing to it. So remember, when Nate says, I better be home soon or my wife is going to kill me, he super means it. Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. This whole thing is powered by the water wheel down there. It's quite a feat for a bunch of pirates. Well, you should have seen the stuff he built in Scotland. I mean, there was this... Hold up. You went to Scotland, too? Y yeah, I... I mean, you see, the, the last place Avery was... Uh... Relax. Sully already filled me in. Ah. Right. I, at, le at least I didn't... Well, see, I, at least I didn't lie again. Mm-hmm. It's a consolation prize, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> see, I only lied about Scotland once. <laughs> I've stopped lying after lying to you a lot. seems more practical than than the other jar thing here honey this box is full of all my apologies <laughs> Nate this is empty oh oh shit Hold on, let me find a treasure that symbolizes my my sorrow <laughs> hmm what ancient treasure really says I'm sorry apologize hmm. in one hand kill pirates with the other and see which one ends up full all right <laughs> well at least one of them's covered in blood I don't know <laughs> oh, we're getting some exercise at least, right? It's way better than that shitty rowing machine we bought years ago. I can't
can't wait for uh, Elena to say she brought in a specialist who's like parachuting in from the seaplane, <laughs> and Nate oh, thinks it's like I? Cutter or, or Chloe or somebody, yeah. and it's just a therapist. <laughs> Get it back. Right in the middle of a war zone. There's a lot of men here. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine even... Okay, so even without doing all the adventure, I mean, Nate had a very active job, and he mm -hmm. stayed in shape. But I'm just trying to imagine... I can't imagine him doing normal exercise. Oh, it's all the worst, most obnoxious CrossFit. Oh, yeah, actually, There's yeah. There's a lot of tire flipping. <laughs> like, the the workout montage in Batman vs. Superman, he's like, Oh, yeah! I can do way dumber shit than that. <laughs> You tied what to your wear, amateur? <laughs> I can imagine that the only, like, actual exercise machine he would ever own is, like, a really, really old gazelle that Sully bought. Yeah, and he lifts it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so in this area, you have to get your... your jeep back. Uh, this is an area... Mm -hmm. Whoop! Sneaky. Interesting. Uh, hey. This is another area yeah. where you can do the whole thing without getting caught or even having to kill all the dudes. Whoa. It's not like it's really holding you back, though. It's 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 not. But uh, yeah, that last melee move I, I did, I, I not one you do shot. too often. Whoa. Hey there. Oh, one where you just sort of step on a man? Yeah, it's it's if you're above them, just, you know, like... A height difference of, like, you know, waist-high cover or something. And yeah, you just, like, kind of just step on their head and they just die in one hit, basically. They just fall over. Whoa! Oh, back to driving with your unlimited ammo, buddy. Mm hmm Oh, memory lane. <laughs> Bye. Where's the grenade launcher? Come on. Aw. Okay, pretty sure we lost it. So here's my question. Why does Ray Fadler want Avery's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. What's the glory? You want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Plus, he's just kind of an asshole. <laughs> he seems like the kind of guy who's lost a lot, but always keeps going so he can tell himself he won. Yeah. And this is another one of those. <laughs> wow, check out that elevator. It's massive. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, well, you could take pictures, too. I didn't bring my camera. I wish I did that. It's okay, I already took the one picture from this trip we're covered. <laughs> So, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you, after Rafe had I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on him. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy outfit I mean, I just looked it up. So there you go. For the, the reason why Nate didn't know he had already died, he just implicitly trusted his brother. Oops! Yeah. That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Like... Relationships are built on trust, right? You don't mm -hmm. want to assume your brother back from the dead is lying. Yeah, like, on top of him being back from, you know, the dead, basically, it's like, <laughs> I'm probably going to believe whatever the fuck he says. Some crazy right, shit's happening right here. It's just a little I want to believe poster in his subconscious. Of course not. It would have been too easy. The water wheel's still working. Well, either we fix this thing or we find a way to climb it. Let's see what's what. And a loved one portraying Nate in a way by lying to him so that they could do something they really wanted to do almost seems like a thing Nate may have done to somebody else. Hmm. Uh, it is almost uh. as if he received a dose of his own medicine. Uh. Perhaps there's some thought behind this writing. Well, that's a problem. Gears aren't connected to the water wheel. You think it's fixable? I need to get up there and see. So much for the best engineers ever, huh? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they forgot to put gears in. <laughs> Pirates didn't know what those were. Well, we haven't invented steampunk yet. <laughs> Don't know what gears are. 
We got any pirate punk? Yar. If only William Gibson were alive today. We'll find out. And not 300 years from now. <laughs> This. What is? Why is this? Well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Stop the water whale. Doesn't really help us though. All right, let's try something else. I love this giant thing you can pull out of the wall. Like, how many pirates did it take to move this thing? What is the point of you? <laughs> why is there a water wheel break? Just like turn off the water. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, okay, maybe pulling that is, is moving a gate further up or something? Is it, I didn't really notice how it's working. Yeah, I mean, it's just this big wooden beam that just com comes forward. So maybe it, maybe it is pulling a gate somewhere further up. You can't see the gate if that's the case, though. There we go. Stand clear. I got it. Okay. That's pretty clear. Uh, yeah, it needed it. Okay, cool. <laughs> How's that? Uh, looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Is it her birthday? Um, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, really, in this environment, literally all I can do is hope the treasure had some sort of meaning to, for her. Should I call her mother? Does she have a mother? <laughs> I should know that. I really should have asked I by really this point. I really should know that. Yeah. I mean, okay. Fair is fair. She didn't know I had a brother. I didn't know she had a mother. Who was it that came over for Thanksgiving this year? <laughs> she was kind of old. Nah, she ain't gonna like that either. <laughs> God, maybe I should just say, you know... Express these feelings with words instead. I... You know what? I need a practical gift. How do I get yeah. this uh, uh, thing over there? How do I get this crate? Yeah, Maybe I mean... Maybe just the casters. They seem perfect <laughs> in every way. Yeah, I mean... The box could fall apart any moment, but these casters, we could attach these to something else and it'll be good to go. So anything she needs, like, portability yet. with... Maybe higher. put it on a necklace? You know, yeah. this seems the like elevator. priceless valuable. <laughs> oh, oh, the casters can be new earrings for her. There we go. Great. <laughs> well, ain't it gonna look weird with some stretched out lobes? <laughs> I mean, all the other kids are doing it these days. Maybe she can get a job at an independent coffee house. You made it! Is there ever a doubt? Oh, hold on. I'll stop the wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah, it stops okay. the water. Okay, cool. Ready. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh, maybe I should stop trying to buy her affection with goods. I don't really see how it moves the thing to stop the water, but this is sensical. I support this. Good job, pirate engineers. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go. Ah, the, the gear put her in her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the thing that makes this whole water really useful, we made that optional. <laughs> we did it! So this area is a little difficult uh, because yeah. it's, it, it's mainly just because there's a couple different ways you can go here. Like you can just try and hang out on the elevator with Elena the whole time, but there's a lot of areas where you can jump off the elevator and then meet back up with her. Oh, nice. 
Uh, and because of that, like that, there, there's a couple ways you can get flanked during this section. And if you don't react quick enough, it can it can be a little rough. Especially since the cover is, you know, like rotted tree stumps. Also, a little hard to spot here, but if you look at Ele Elena... She just punched a dude clean off. <laughs> like that, that guy will actually try and climb uh, onto the thing to fight you. And she just punches him clean off before you can even get to you. That's my girl right there. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Thankfully, this section isn't too hard this time around just because from last time I was able to save the really good gun. <laughs> No, I love this sort of reinterpretation of a very classic uh, enemy encounter. Yeah, the elevator like sequence. The, the elevator sequence. Well, what are the elevators moving? And you can either be on it or not. Yeah. You've got a whole vertically oriented level to play with. It's going whether you like it or not. Yeah. Yeah, I like that aspect. Then eventually, you know, you just completely split off uh, from the elevator with these dudes. Uh, scary area just because... There's that rocket launcher dude who, uh, if a rocket blows up, or a grenade, actually, I think, blows up close enough to you while you're hanging from a ledge, it'll actually make you lose lose your grip. Oh, dear. Yeah. So you better hope there's another ledge. Yeah, thankfully there's a lot of ledges there, so it's not okay. too big of a problem, but... Yeah, grenades and, and rocket launchers can, can make you fall if you're hanging from something. Is it possible for, like, the, uh... I saw there was, like, chunks coming out of the elevator. Is that just cosmetic, or will it eventually just crumble and you fail? Uh, the elevator won't crumble, but cover can break and stuff. Okay. You know what would, uh, really improve the sequence? This? Holy shit! Are you okay, Nate? I was gonna yeah. say overly Hello? cute pet names. <laughs> My schmoopsie's pinned down. <laughs> you drive. You sure? You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. Oh, definitely earned it. So now will you believe me that you don't have to lie about adventures, <laughs> please, <laughs> Nathan? <laughs> Okay, last try. Is this good? Damn it! Oh! I can't even like make a treasure bouquet out of all these or anything. Like they. <laughs> well, the... one does have a stem. <laughs> <laughs> or like a treasure cornucopia or something like. Oh. So I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture—it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? Yeah, Sam Wondering said the same thing. <laughs> we my ass, all right? Unless you're talking about Sam and I. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Don't knows. you steal that thought. Nate knows. Perhaps the real treasure is just the knowing. <gasps> There's the elevator. Yeah, I guess we got to cross these rapids. This car come with life jackets? I thought you were going to say the real treasure was love. Well, if that's the case, we already lost it. It's too late now. Oh, no. Deep physics continue to be pretty good here. Yes. I, I love these points where, uh, Whoa, like, Boy's Night Road Trip was very chatty, mm -hmm. but oh, the there. bits between scripted conversations just seem like awkward pauses. Oh, We're yeah. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That dam. You can drive through the sluice gate. I don't think any game talks about sluice gates as much as the Uncharted series. Yeah, the, it, it was weird. It was just weird timing because uh, just a little bit before I had played this game for the first time, I had finished playing uh, Resident Evil Revel Revelations 2. <laughs> Which feature, features quite a lot of Barry Burton talking about sluice gates. <laughs> and it's like, oh like man. Like a hobby? He's just a sluice gate enthusiast? Uh, no, he, he encountered a lot of troublesome sluice gates. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. 
But it, it was just funny because it's just like all of a sudden I had played two games back to back that were very concerned about sluice gates. Like, most games, even if you encounter these, they never say like, Oh, we gotta get around the sluice! It's just like, there's a gate. It's, it's because sluice gate sounds like made up hacker bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose he so, programmed yeah. a sluice gate backdoor. Have seen that coming. Ah, these damn sluices. The sluice is loose. Oh no. And behind door number two, I gotta juice this sluice. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it through the day without some sluice juice, said the <laughs> sluice operator. Oh man, my sluice is cooked. <laughs> all I do all day is just operate the sluice. Going in, going out, sluice going up and down. Yeah, we uh, got a new operator. He's from Australia. We call him the Sluice Bruce. <laughs> We're good. Okay. That thing's clearly a ramp. Let's gun it. I think we found Libertalia's uh, sewer system. Just saw a sluice deuce. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. That oh, was close ish. You need to get more speed. Yeah, I. Like you said, I do like that the. Even when they're trying to be friendly, it doesn't feel quite right. Mm hmm. Like, it, it, there's a couple conversations it's like, oh, this is basically what they used to do, but it don't feel right. Watch this. Hang on. We did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. Like they're they're talking yeah. a lot. But usually when they need to, like procedurally, when it's clear they both know there are other things they need to talk about. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Just not now. <laughs> yeah. And we're up. I can't believe that Henry Avery imported an entire international menagerie. Look at that <laughs> sluice moose. <laughs> I wonder who lived here. Probably the elevator keeper person. The elevator keeper person? Yeah, you know, how else are you going to pass pirate safety inspections? Okay. I think we found Radagast the Brown's house. Well, whoever he was, he left a note. Perfectly preserved note on this hmm. barrel. Guess these guys knew something big was going down. Not even weighed down with a rock. You know what Madagascar never has? Mm. Wind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this dude uh, worked at the port and he noticed, uh, you know, he's supposed to be inspecting all the goods and all the crates that come off the ships. Uh, and he noticed that tons of uh, guns and stuff are being brought into Libertalia. Uh, and he's trying to bring attention to it, and the founders are just going like, Hey, no. Don't say anything <laughs> about that. For your own good. Did not speak of this to Eleanor. She's preoccupied enough with her brother Jack's disappearance. But my friends must be told. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this loops back into that note from last episode, I believe? Or the episode before that, where yeah, somebody mentioned that their brother Jack had disappeared. Oh, oh. Yeah, at this point, everything's getting real suspicious. I'm suspicious. Mm -hmm. I will write in my diary about this. Your diary is mine now. Okay, is this any good? Hmm. That's pretty good, it's actually. An incense burner. It's ornate. It's intricate. It's got like it's a not a fucking jar. It's got a weird dragon guy on the top of it with his head that's on backwards. Elephant heads, cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. you I know what? Do it. <laughs> that's nobody good. on our block has one of those. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be the talk of the town. <laughs> it's a real conversation starter. Too bad the conversation is about that time I lied to my wife and had her oh. worried to death. Well, it's the one good thing that came out of it. Be odd that elevator's working. So far, we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. And the water wheel's working, that bodes well.
Well, I'm sure the waterway, the water wheel's full of explosives or something. Let's check it out. I think Nate should probably leave bits of his journal behind when he picks up a journal bit. Oh, yeah. Like, do it like geocache style or, or maybe be like the rainbow fish of diaries. <laughs> You'd, re you'd always know it's him because it's either a drawing of his weird greasy grandpa or a lemur. Yeah. Or hey, pressed flowers. Or, or pressed flowers, yeah, yeah. Instantly pressed flowers. Okay, this could be good as like... He pushes them really hard. Okay, that combination lock treasure could be good as just a general tool. You need to pound nails in or something. Come on. I was thinking like Let's get very that flat brass knuckles. Oh, hey, yeah. with this? Or maybe you hold the tumblers and you punch them with the round bit. You yeah. can roll it through cookie dough and get numbers <laughs> in your cookies. Uh, I'll hold it. Just get the car. Yeah, me and my bro figured out this thing where one of us supports it with our back. Mm -hmm. Is my back tall enough to get the car in? Uh. Ah. Okay. Here goes nothing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. I like that the elevators are the one thing to never break. <laughs> wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> so what made you change your mind? Huh? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse, yeah. For better or worse. So wait, you're telling me <laughs> I could go on a murderous rampage through the loop tomorrow and my Elena would be legally required <laughs> to have my back and join in. This is dope. Yes. If she doesn't Here. chicken out. Yeah. Give me an amethyst. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out like that. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... I, I... You know, I... we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Next stop, New Devon. I feel like if I were ever on an awkward car ride, this music would actually make me feel a little better because it would just be a little less awkward and a little more cinematic. Yeah. This isn't uh, just soundtrack. This is diegetic. This is in Nate's iPod. Hey, Elena? Nate? We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You're doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no nose is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Only a few of the hitches were my husband's. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. 
Hang on tight. Why'd you get the one with a winch? We should've got the one with pontoons. You can steer a little, but not effectively. Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks! Go! I got it! Come on! Nate! Waterfall! Waterfall! Come on! Over here, quick! Oh, she should have grabbed him in the air. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pulled him up to the huh? ledge. Oh, man. So much for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself, you know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Ooh, double meanings. Hmm. Yeah. Just keep moving. <laughs>